We begin this morning with Fox 51 special report. The fentanyl crisis has claimed the lives of tens of thousands of Americans in just the last year. Now there's a new warning about this deadly drug that every parent should hear. That's right. I sat down with medical and law enforcement experts to see what's being done to stop this drug from getting into the hands of East Texas children in our special report, Fentanyl, No Quick Fix. This is fentanyl. It is 50 times stronger than heroin, 100 times stronger than morphine. It's highly addictive and lethal. Dr. C.M. Shada is a member of the Texas Medical Association and former president of the Texas Pain Society. He says the fentanyl that's plaguing the country is illegally manufactured. The drug dealers are manufacturing fake pills. In other words, they're manufacturing look-alike pills that are counterfeit and they can contain up to as much as five milligrams of fentanyl. Dr. Shada says as little as two milligrams of fentanyl is enough to kill you. That's about the weight of a mosquito or what's on the tip of this pencil. So if this glass of flour were fentanyl, it has the potential to wipe out the population of Tyler, Longview and Nacogdoches. And it doesn't just come in powder form. The public is unaware that there's counterfeit pills. They think they're taking their Xanax or taking their pain pill. When in fact it's a counterfeit and they're risking their life when they take it. The drug now claiming the lives of Texas children. One of the most notable instances, four student deaths linked to fentanyl overdoses in a central Texas school district. It's scary to us that our, our kids are finally becoming susceptible to, to the fentanyl problems that most of the major cities have had. Russ County Sheriff John Wayne Valdez says East Texas is seeing the distribution of the drug. And while it isn't an issue in our schools yet, it takes a while to get to certain areas. Uh, will we see it? Yes. And we're fully uh, expecting for it to hit here. Are you prepared for it? <laughs> Law enforcement wise, yes. Um, for the preservation of our children, no, because we can't be everywhere at the same time. That's why he put out this warning on social media, educating these Texans about the dangers of fentanyl. I'm trying to educate the parents, these kids, before it gets to where it's, it's prevalent here in, in this county or in East Texas. If they see this stuff and they know what it looks like, they got a better chance of stopping it before their kids ingest it if they see it. And that, that could possibly very well save a life. Now, officials are sounding the alarm on the drug's newest form, rainbow pills, made to look like candy, posing a greater risk to our kids. Oh, to our children. If this continues to get in school, is this going to continue to cause a bigger problem moving forward? Yes. It starts middle school for sure, even before middle school. Come on, the cartel is selling it as candy on the playgrounds. So we're going to see younger and younger children dying. So what's being done to fight fentanyl? <laughs> Sheriff Valdez says it should start with securing the southern border, something he says is easier said than done. This system is it's, it's not even broken anymore. It's shattered. And we're left to try to pick up the pieces. Governor Abbott has directed state agencies, including the TEA, to ramp up efforts to combat the crisis. Fentanyl is a clandestine killer, and Texans are victimized by Mexican cartels that produce and import it. He's also classifying those cartels as terrorists in Texas. The governor also proposing laws that would make fentanyl dealing a murder charge, holding distributors of the drug accountable for the death of Texans. This is a medical problem. You can't arrest yourself out of this problem because if you stop fentanyl, it's just like prohibition. They'll find something else. Dr. Shada recently spoke to the Texas House Committee on Public Health. The weight of a mosquito is deadly. Urging them to revisit laws on pain and non-pain management clinics. He says this would allow for proper prescribing practices so people aren't driven to look for these illegal drugs. So the doctors are unable to do what we need to do, both because we're being told not to and there's lack of funding. So we know what to do and we know how to solve the problem, but we're not being allowed to do that. For now, there is an antidote to stopping opioid overdoses. It's called naloxone, better known as Narcan. Dr. Shada says it's inexpensive and effective. The antidote has to be readily available. 
helping to save some lives. Let us practice medicine, leave us alone, and the problem will get better. While we work to find a solution. We need to really look at closing the border is the first best step. To the fentanyl crisis. So, Judd, the overall theme here, it's going to get worse unless something is done about it, correct? Yeah, that's right. Now, that's one of the points that Dr. Shada is really trying to drive home here, is this was already not good in adult usage. Both he and Sheriff Valdez now are simply just asking, at what point are we going to do something about this drug? And is now the time that we're going to do something, especially now that it's getting into the hands of children and taking their lives? Right. Um, what were some of the other recommendations? that Dr. Shada presented to the House Committee? Well, he had 10 of them, and I mentioned one of them in the story. Another one that he pointed out, uh, two more on the list, that is considering legalization of fentanyl testing strips. Now, that is considered drug paraphernalia right now, so those are not legal. And people may not realize that they have counterfeit pills with a leaf lethal dose of fentanyl in it, and these strips can really help to save the lives of anybody who may need to test those drugs. Now, another one is seeking funding to support to the strategies to target IMF overdoses, things like harm reduction services. We're talking about getting more naloxone funding, uh, syringe service programs, as well as uh, really getting our hands on and legalizing those fentanyl testing strips. But you can read all of what Dr. Shada had to say and his suggestions over on our website. That is fox51.com.